Hey YouTube, it's Ryan, Northwest Preppers. It's been a while since I've gone over my bag. Um, what do you want to call it? Get home bag, bug out bag, whatever, inch bag, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just my bag. Um, I've got a system that I use in the car and I have a lot of stuff in the car. Go back and watch the videos. Um, you know, it's got to be a tiered system that you guys are going with. Um, that's what has worked for me. Uh, I have two kids, a two-year-old and eight-year-old, soon to be three and nine here in February. Um, we travel in the car a lot. We drive my car primarily. It's a 2015 Chevy Tahoe. Um, allows me a lot of capabilities as far as carrying stuff. Um, I mean, it is packed to the gills with stuff. Um, but the bag is why we're here. It's been a while since I've gone through it, like I've said, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump into it. It's a Maxpedition bag. Um, a big one. It is packed to the gills with stuff. Now, I don't like a lot of stuff hanging off the side. If we go anywhere and I'm carrying this bag on my back, I'll take everything that's dangling off of it um, just because I don't want that look. Um, with the Usually with the exception of, of my radio. Um, I am an amateur radio operator. Have been for a few years now. Um, if you're going to dive into ham radio, and we can talk about this in another video, but if you're going to dive into ham radio or amateur radio, get your license. Don't just buy a Bale Fang or any other cheap radio. Um, get your license. Just because you can use it in the case of emergency, you need to be able to know which repeaters are closest to you, who's on those, if you can you, you know, use them for your OPSEC. You, you, you want to you want to get your license. It gives you a lot of information. Plus it gets you around other ham radio operators. Um, anyway, so since we're talking about that, I'll dive into that. Uh, this is an Anytone 878. It's a digital radio. I love it. It works great. It's got FM radio on it. I use it a lot for that. I've got 2,300 frequencies programmed in here. Um, a, a lot of them I'll never use, but they're there. Uh, it's dual watch. Beautiful screen. This radio is great. Uh, ar around 300 bucks or so, plus accessories. But the problem with these digital DMR radios is, is that you have to build a code plug or know someone that has built the code plug to be able to program these. Um, that's easy to do, though. Just do a quick Facebook group thing and, and, and put a message out there to see if anyone's got the code plug for you, for your specific area. Anyhow, um, Scott and I, who, you know, Scott with, with the channel here, we're both involved with search and rescue for our county here uh in washington um so i use this for search and rescue as well i've got all the search and rescue sar frequencies programmed in here um so a great tool to have all right we'll go into this top pocket here it's packed full i guess i'd better do a pocket dump here so this flashlight usually rides in this bag if it's not in my pocket and and it's a um it's a Streamlight ProTac 2A. The 2A is the double AAA. They have a 3A, which is the uh, AAA batteries. Um, it's LED programmable. It's got the strobe on there, which I like. I do carry a pistol with me. It's a Glock 22. And just keys and chapstick. I don't carry lighters and all that stuff in my pockets because I live mostly in the city, um, rural Pierce County. Anyways, we've got some coffee, instant coffee, Kleenex, dental floss, um, stomach meds, because who wants to roll around with an upset stomach? It's just not fun to do. Uh, long charging cable for my iPhone, the charging base. extra set of boot laces. Uh, these are 60 inches long. Cut them if I have to. I can burn the ends if I cut them. Um, so I can use them in tennis shoes or my boots. Uh, burn gel. Now, a lot of you, I'm assuming, have kids like me and Scott, and kids are always bumping, bruising, first aid stuff. Um, you know, I carry a lot of it. A lot of, I'm really heavy on the first aid stuff, primarily because of kids. Um, so that's just some burn gel. Oh man, these are great. Um, these are sterile saline wipes. I use them 
you know, when we're out doing search and rescue um, or, you know, for Aries, I, I am a member of Aries here, Amateur Radio Emergency Services um, on the ham radio side of things. Um, you know, you're out, it's hot and sweaty or what have you, you get dirty. These are great to wipe off your face, your skin. Um, vitamin C packets. Sunscreen for the kids. Don't leave them home without this constitution. Ear Pro, just in case it gets loud wherever you're at. More on the stomach side of things. Extra mag. More saline wipes. Extra batteries for the uh, flashlight, the stream light. Permanent marker. I got some more stomach meds, some cough drops. Dropping everywhere. Cough drops. All right. And this is why I don't carry Bix on me. I don't, I'm not a smoker. I, you know, again, I'm 24 miles one way from work, um, vice versa. I'm not going to stop and build a fire. Um, it doesn't get very, very cold here. I dress for the weather, puffy coat, all that good stuff. Um, I, I just don't have any use to carry a, a Bic in my pocket. Chapstick. All right, that does it for that top pocket. We'll get into this pocket here. All right, back to the first aid stuff. Um, really heavy on it. I make these little bags. Scott and I do. Um, I buy these Colligan's brand. You can get them on wa um, at Walmart. You can get them at Fred Meyer's. I get them at Fred Meyer's because you can get a pack of like five of them, the assorted sizes. Um, in here, I've got triple antibiotic ointment, kids band-aids, alcohol pads, and some big band-aids and some some four by four gauzes. Now, this is something I can shove in a pocket if we're going on a on a little walk down at the waterfront or kids are riding their bike somewhere. I can just throw this in a pocket. Um, here's another one. I've got blister relief in the back. Um, some more burn ointment. I've got some aspirin in here, more triple antibiotic ointments. Um, and just, I just pick all this stuff up at Walmart guys. Um, I like to buy name brand stuff typically, uh, just because it works well hand sanitizer and some lotion just in a little bag so it stays nice and contained um a leatherman sometimes i throw this on my belt just depending on how i feel um but i always have it with me um this is the leatherman rebar got it for christmas a couple years back oh man i use this more than anything in this bag just a nail kit there used to be a mirror here, mirror here but it broke um, riding around in the bag. Um, you know, it's just your standard little nail kit. They're great. Get them from Walmart for cheap. Power banks. All right. I've got three power banks uh, here. This is just a an off brand. You get them at the, the checkout stand at Walmart. Um, the milliamp. This is 2000 milliamp. This one's 2000 milliamp. Now, look, if it's cold out, I just used one of these out on a search for search and rescue. My phone was dead when I got the, not dead, but it was towards the end of the night, uh, about 9 p.m. when I got the call for the search. I plug my phone in at night when I go to bed, so my phone was almost down all the way um, dead. So I had one of these in the car. I plugged it in and my phone just sucked it dry. Um, and I was worried I wasn't gonna have enough. Thankfully, it wasn't a very long search. We found the guy pretty quick. Um, so I didn't need anymore but it prompted me to go out and buy this i always buy cheap you know walmart jobs because these are only a few bucks you know stocking stuffers just throw them in your i mean they're just easy but i went out and got an anchor this is a twenty thousand milliamp hour uh, power bank says it'll charge my phone 10 times or so um i don't roll around with a laptop or ipad so i don't have to worry about that but um primarily for the phone so anchor probably the way to go couple spoons i take this bag with me when i get to work i take it out of my my personal vehicle i put it in my work vehicle and when i get to my work location i bring it inside with me a because i don't want someone to steal it that's would be you know terrible um but i also use stuff out of here th throughout the day so a couple extra plastic spoons uh oh keeps working hands i love this stuff my hands are always dry sanitizer especially nowadays with sanitizer but i always i, I love this stuff it's it's not too cheap um but it lasts a long time same with Vaseline. Um, 
you know, you get cracks and stuff in your skin and you start to bleed. Vaseline works great. Put it on there. Um, just another USB charge port uh, for the phone. And this is the charge cable for one of these power banks, as well as more, more cords uh, for charging various things from the power bank. On here, I've got a hair tie for either my daughter or my or my wife. It's just Velcro that's keeping these cords together, but I always just keep the hair tie on there because it stays in place. Um, cheap, cheap Ozark Trail binoculars. Um, look, sure, I could save money and go buy the best binoculars and put them high-speed tactical binoculars in this bag. I, look, short of using these to look down the road or whatever, that's all I'm going to use it for. I, I, I'm not a hunter. I'm not going to, you know, go spend the kind of money for something to possibly get stolen out of my car or my bag. All right. A couple more. I've got a gold Bic and, or Bic, Sharpie, and a black Sharpie. Another Walmart job knife. Um, I love these Walmart knives. They're cheap, about four bucks. Um, they get dull, you toss them away. I love right in the rain. I have several right in the rain pads. Um, I have never used this one. It's, you, I mean, you can see it's gone through its torture here riding in the bag, but I've never used it. Um, however, I would, you know, the kids want to draw on something or whatever. I would use it, you know, let them borrow it. Repel 100% DEET. Now I know it's not 100% DEET. I think it's 98 point something. Um, yeah, 98.11% DEET. Anyways, you know, Bug, bug repellent. All right. Got the old whistle, just in case, or the kids want to play with it. Um, I carry handcuffs for work. Um, I have never had the need to carry this on my belt or in my boots or in a shoelace. Uh, I'm not going around getting handcuffed. Um, so, But anyhow, I, I have it for work if I need it. Glow stick, kids love them. That's pretty much what I use them for. I'm not gonna, I've got enough headlamps and all that stuff. I'll just use a headlamp or a regular flashlight. I'm not gonna crack a chem stick and hang it from anything. Um, this little thing, got this in the checkout stand at uh, Walmart or Ace Hardware. Uh, just a little driver set. It's got a bunch of little uh, bits in there. Again, mostly for kids' toys, um, small stuff possibly. This is an HDX from Home Depot. Same little thing. Just cool little pen style. Why not? All right. That's it for that pocket. And since I mentioned it, this is a figure nine carabiner from um, Night Eyes. I've never used this other than it just clipping onto my bag. Um, but you can use it to set up a tarp uh, shelter. Um if you know if you don't have enough rope or don't have enough trees or you know lower your bag down or whatever all right oh flashlight fell all right in this this there's two large compartments um they both clamshell open in this specific max Expedition bag um i've got a lot of medical stuff so i'm not going to just rip it all open but i will go through it it's got velcro on the lid all the way down the lid it's got velcro uh, hook and loop so that's where I stick. I carry cat tourniquets. I've been training these. Um, North American Rescue cat tourniquets 